currently, a lot of law and legal research is still based on folk psychology or common sense reasoning. The problem with that type of reasoning is it's really susceptible to error, particularly in the legal context. At the University of Exeter, we're conducting legal research informed by really strong underlying data and models of behaviour. My research group have built the UK's only searchable miscarriages of justice registry, in which we log and categorise known miscarriages of justice in the UK. We then draw on this data in order to understand when and why miscarriages of justice occur. Our work has spanned a range of areas, from incentivised admissions to testimony evaluation, to legal responses to misinformation and disinformation. My work on incentivized admissions has provided new insight in how incentives to plead guilty operate in practice. For example, the work has examined how sentence discounts create pressure for innocent people to plead guilty and how this pressure interacts with concepts of autonomy in the legal system. It has also explored how incentives to plead guilty contribute to systemic inequalities in the justice system, including based on gender, age and ethnicity. In our work, we draw on a range of new and exciting techniques and methodologies, from computational modelling to functional magnetic resonance imaging. Many of our datasets are available online and are accessed by members of the public, by researchers and by practitioners from across the world. One of our strengths at the University of Exeter is our focus on collaborative multidisciplinary work that allows us to draw on insight from a range of fields, including sociology, psychology, data sciences, and human geography. The grounding of our work in behavioral sciences allows us to design data collection in a way that enhances the reliability of our conclusions. Our work on guilty pleas was influential in leading to the quashing of convictions involved in the Post Office Horizon scandal. This represents important recognition of the pressures on innocent people to plead guilty and the incompatibility of those pressures with individual rights. Going forwards, we want to continue to gather and utilise data to inform policy change. Currently, justice systems across the world are likely to be malfunctioning in really important ways. Through creating a better evidence base that can inform legal practice and policy, we can improve procedure and ensure that systems function in a way which is consistent not only with normative legal principles, but also human rights more generally.